Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Charlotte Kahn presenting an AI project demo as part of AI for Good Perspectives all year, always online. AI for Good Perspectives offer expert insights, global visions, and shared solutions from the AI for Good community. And today I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Dong Ok Won of Hallim University in the Republic of Korea. Dr. Won, thank you very much for joining us. Hello. Now, to start with, could you please describe this strange and fascinating invention? What was the inspiration for it? Curling is a turn-based game played on ice that required a very high level of strategy thinking. I introduced an AI curling robot called Curly. In particular, our proposed adaptation framework extends standard deep reinforcement learning using temporal features, which run to compensating for the uncertainty and non-stationalities that are part of curling. Our curling was able to win three or four official matches against expert human players. That results indicate that the gap between physics-based simulators and the real world can be narrow. And how fast was the learning curve? What were the main challenges you faced? The curly runs stayed from millions of actions in simulations. However, in the real world, we may not even be able to perform hundreds of actions for the purpose of learning in each case. Moreover, the system can never fully replicate the real world. The curling ice seat is an environment with high variations that influences slow performance. Human require years of practice to master curling. Our framework is able to obtain excellent results by compensating for uncertainty and non-stationalities, these issues are an unavoidable aspect of the calling game. What impact do you expect AI robots to have for humanity and especially athletes in the future? These days, AI technology already has force correction or strategic planning. I think in the future, AI robot will be very good training tools for human players. And also, AI robot can be a great practice partner. What does it mean for an athlete to compete with an AI robot? Um, is it a competitor or a training tool? Um, can it compete at the Olympics, for instance? We report a calling robot Curly that can achieve human level performance in the curling game using an adaptive deep reinforcement learning framework. Also, we matched our robot against expert human curling team in Korea. However, our project goal is not to win. Our goal is to help or support human player. Moreover, we conduct an interesting case study of a game where Curly collaborated with human player. These special matches are a good example for collaborative robots in the real world. What are the main applications of this technology? We hope that our framework is transportable to other complex real-world applications such as drones, autonomous vehicle controls, and so on. So what are your next research steps and what do you plan after Curly? The use of explainable AI techniques to gain a further understanding of critical shot impacts, thus allowing the curling AI and its creators to run better from their mistake will be interesting for future study. Moreover, 
case of extreme changes such as sweeping and curling deserve further investigation. And what do you find the most exciting in the field of AI currently? In my opinion, autonomous vehicle topic is the hardest in the AI field. As I told you, we hope that our framework is transportable to autonomous vehicle control in complex real world. And finally, what would you say are the main challenges with AI? How can we make sure that we develop this technology in a safe and ethical way so that it benefits humanity? These days, AI research is stepping out of the lab and into the real world. In the real world, AI can run into problem that it has not run or create new problem such as a safety issue or ethical issue. Therefore, AI researchers need to be very careful when applying AI to the real world. However, we shouldn't be scared or aware from AI technology. I think it should be put under our control. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Wong, for an incredible demonstration. What an amazing robot. Well, that's it from us. Stay tuned for more on the AI for Good perspectives all year, always online. <laughs>